Hey girls, I want to tell you how to say this word, okay? It's hypergamy. It's not hypergamy. A lot of people are saying hypergamy. It's hypergamy. Or you would say you're a hypergamist or you're living a hypergamist lifestyle. You believe in hypergamy, okay? Don't say hypergamy. Don't copy the other people. I know there's a lot of people out there who are like very credible people. They're not even saying it right, okay? We need to correct this because everybody's starting to say it wrong and it's really weird. Or what's even weirder is when nobody knows how to say it and they like stumble over it and you know, it's just, it's not good, okay? I'm just saying it because if we're going to truly be hypergamous, we need to know how to say the damn word, right? Or it's not gonna be believable. It's gonna seem like we're just making this thing up and you know, we're really not committed to it. So we need to know how to say it right. It's hypergamy not hypergamy, hypergamy, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm not making fun of you, okay? Because in the beginning, I didn't know how to say it either. I didn't understand, and I was copying all the wrong people and saying it incorrectly. Um, but I love you girls, and I want you to not be embarrassed by finding out later that you're saying it wrong, okay? I want the best for you, and if you can say it right, you can live it right. <laughs> I just made that up, okay? <laughs> All right, so it's hypergamy. Not hypergamy. Hypergamy, okay? Say it with me. Hypergamy. Hypergamy. Good job, good job. See, look at us. We're up-leveling our speech. We're up-leveling every area of our life, including our speech and our pronunciation of things, okay? You all know, or a lot of you know, I'm a person who stutters, so I'm a little bit of like, um, uh, like a word police because I'm very aware of words and pronunciations of certain words because you know i'm thinking about my speech all the time because i'm a person who stutters i'm always using my technique so i can speak more fluently and more eloquently so i just throughout the day i'm putting more thought in to words than a person who doesn't need to think about that does so when I hear stuff like this, I just, I have to say something. But it's one of those things, like if somebody says it wrong in front of me, I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're saying it wrong. That's weird, you know, that's not nice. So if I just say it on YouTube, then you guys can learn and I don't offend anybody, okay? I remember when, um, did somebody correct me? Somebody did correct me for years, for like my whole life. I was saying, supposedly, until I was like 25 years old. And I went to a restaurant. I was with um, this girl. She was my best friend back then. And we had like a couple other people with us that we didn't really know that well. I said, supposedly. And like, she called me out on it. She's like, it's not supposedly, it's supposedly. I was like, what? Like, I did not understand because I had heard people say that word all my life. And to me, it sounded like they were saying supposedly. Yeah. And I just kept saying it. And I think the other thing that was happening was all the people like in my circle or like in my family, this is where I learned the word from. So if my parents were saying it wrong, then they taught me how to say it wrong. And the more I heard them say it wrong, it just confirmed to me that this is the right way to say it. I was like, so many people say supposedly when it's actually supposedly. And I never knew that. And so my friend called me out on it and she told me, I was like a little bit embarrassed 
And then, of course, you know, I called her out on some of the words she uses incorrectly just to, you know, stick it back at her for embarrassing me. But, <laughs> you know, it's good to finally find out that we're saying something wrong. Okay? So, or supposedly, supposedly it's good to find out when we're saying things wrong. So, yeah, that's all. It's hypergamy. Not hypergamy, hypergamy. Got it? All right, talk to you later. Ooh, I wanna make a video about um how to pronounce like certain shoes, like, you know, like fancy shoes. I've been learning how to actually say the names correctly. I was saying them wrong, it's so embarrassing. Like, how can you be walking around wearing thousand or $2,000 shoes and you don't even know how to pronounce the name of your shoe correctly. I'm like, I am not gonna be that chick. Hell no. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a fake and a fraud if I can't pronounce my own shoes. All right, so that's a good video idea for later. Okay, bye for now.